Hey, listen, I want to, uh, I want to share a story with you all here with, uh, with these next few songs. And, and uh, it's an incredible story that a few years ago I read in a book called Through the Gates of Splendor. I first read about the story of uh, Through the Gates of Splendor, the story of Nate Saint, Jim Elliott, the five missionaries who went to Ecuador in the 50s to try and reach a very savage tribe known as the Alcas. I was radically just transformed by the story and it left its mark on my life, but I never imagined that I would get to share this story uh, as I have on this tour with my friends just like you night after night. I started doing some research on the internet and I came across a couple of articles written by Steve Saint. And I thought, is this the same C Steve Saint that was five years old when his dad was killed and I read about in the book Through the Gates of Splendor? And we began to talk and email and Steve told me um, about Minkai. And he said, you know, my, my children call this man grandfather. This is a dear man to our family. He's here with me right now in the United States. This is one of the six men who attacked and killed my dad, and I'd love for, for us to meet him to meet you and you to meet us. And I said, oh, that would just, that would be beyond my wildest dreams. You're gonna have to sort of imagine here with me for a minute that, that we're, we're still at a concert, but this is something a little different. We're gonna kind of go on a journey together if you're up for an adventure tonight. Anybody here up for a little great adventure? All right, come on. We're going to the Amazon jungles of Ecuador. can only see a part of the picture he's painting. God is God and I am man, so I'll never understand it all, for only God is God. They had the highest homicide rate of any people group in history. They were reclusive, mysterious, as well as astonishingly violent. They had successfully warded off the government, the military, and progress itself, retreating deeper and deeper into the jungle with every outside contact. They lived as they had for centuries, walled in by the jungle. They were a Stone Age people alive and well in the 20th century. Neighboring tribes referred to them simply as the savages. They were the Alka. They were young, they were smart, they had bright futures in many different fields. They were the movers and shakers of their time. They were adventurers, five men passionate and obedient for the sake of the call of God. Come follow me and they came 
with reckless abandon they came They were brave, they were spirited, they were pushing the boundaries of traditional views. They were innovators and pioneers of their time. They were adventurers, five women passionate, obedient for the sake of the call of God. of a creed or a cause not for a dream or a promise simply because it is Jesus who calls and if we believe we'll obey and we'll answer will you sing it with me So the team of Operation Alco was born, and time was of the essence. The oil companies were weary of struggling with the indigenous peoples who stood in the way of their oil. The government was embarrassed as they couldn't control their citizens, and the tribe was in jeopardy at their own hands due to intertribal warfare. No matter who struck first, extinction seemed inevitable. So in the fall of 1955, just before the flood season began, the missionary team realized they had a window of time. They stepped through it. Somewhere, far removed from everything else, lived a group of people in darkness. People that had never been introduced to their Creator. No one had ever brought them the good news of God's love. They had to be told before it was too late. The missionary team felt this was the reason they were alive. <laughs> 